Uh, this FBI agents discovered a 2700 year old artifact that had been stolen from Iraq and it's been here in Atlanta for years. Fox 5's Denise Dillon tells us the artifact was taken from Iraq's National Museum. FBI agents in Boston got a tip that an artifact stolen during the fall of Baghdad was in Atlanta. That's when it was discovered that the piece had been on display here at the Carlos Museum at Emory University. It dates back 2,700 years to about uh, 7,000 B.C. FBI agents say this small ivory artifact, just two and a quarter inches tall, was stolen from the Iraq Museum 20 years ago. In 2003, during the fall of Baghdad, there was widespread looting. Thousands of artifacts were stolen and scattered all across the globe. Many of those have never been found, but the FBI art crime team got a tip that this artifact, named Furniture Fitting with Sphinx Trampling a Youth, was on display in Atlanta. Agents learned the Michael C. Carlos Museum at Emory University bought the piece from someone in 2006. It came with papers saying the artifact had been in the U.S. since 1969. Emory officials were fooled. They took the paperwork as the real thing. They purchased the artifact and it had been on display on and off uh, since 2006. After talking to FBI agents, museum officials voluntarily handed the artifact over to them. Emory University released a statement that reads in part, while the Carlos was supplied with what appeared to be legitimate provenance documentation at the time of the object's purchase in 2006, we no longer view that information as valid. During a ceremony at the Iraqi embassy in Washington Wednesday, an agent from the FBI's art crime team gave the artifact to Iraqi officials. What's the value of this? Priceless. I mean, there is no value on it. It's a cultural icon back in Iraq. Um, never should have left that area. The FBI says while thousands of artifacts were stolen during the fall of Baghdad, this relic is believed to be the first to have been on display in a U.S. museum. Denise Stillen, Fox 5 News.